During World War II, navigation meant life or death. A single wrong turn could send a soldier into enemy territory, or worse, straight into an ambush. But elite Allied commandos developed a secret, a trick so ingenious that even without a compass they could still find their way home. This was the hidden compass technique, taught only to specialized units like the SS, the SOE, and the commandos who operated behind enemy lines. They couldn't afford to carry obvious navigation tools that would expose them if captured. So they learned to turn ordinary items, a button, a pin, even a belt buckle, into a working compass. It was a skill that combined science, survival and stealth, and it saved countless lives. Today, we're uncovering the lost art of this hidden compass trick, why it worked, and how the principle still applies to modern survival and navigation. Behind enemy lines, being caught with standard military gear was a death sentence. The British Special Operations Executive, or SOE, and the United States Office of Strategic Services, or OSS, knew that their agents and saboteurs needed to blend in completely. A compass, or a map, if found, could expose their mission and lead to execution. So they developed a network of hidden tools disguised as ordinary personal items. Tailors in London's Savile Row worked alongside scientists and engineers to craft everyday objects that doubled as survival gear. A uniform button could secretly pivot on a pin to reveal a tiny magnetized disc. A razor blade could float on water and point north. Even a pair of cufflinks could be twisted apart to form a miniature directional tool. These weren't gadgets for show. They were field-tested and issued to men and women who risked everything on their missions. The hidden compass trick was taught in secrecy, and the training involved far more than just identifying north. Recruits learned how to read the environment, how moss, wind, the angle of sunlight, and the habits of birds could verify or correct their bearings. The idea was that a commando should never depend solely on one tool. His mind was his real compass. The foundation of the hidden compass trick was magnetism, something that could be recreated in almost any condition. A small piece of steel or iron, such as a needle or razor edge, could be magnetized by stroking it repeatedly in one direction with silk or by aligning it with the Earth's magnetic field and tapping it lightly. Once magnetized, the piece would naturally align with magnetic north when floating freely. Commandos would often improvise. For example, a small sewing needle could be magnetized using friction from wool or silk. It was then balanced carefully on a leaf or a scrap of cork placed in water. The floating needle would rotate until it pointed north-south. This method was silent, required no metal casing, and left no trace when discarded. Some hidden compasses were embedded directly into equipment. The British escape button compass was one of the most famous designs. It looked like an ordinary uniform button, but inside was a tiny magnetized pivot. When removed and balanced correctly, it revealed true north. Pilots and paratroopers wore them routinely, and many credited these disguised tools for guiding them back to friendly lines after being shot down. Knowing how to find north wasn't enough. Commandos had to learn how to navigate accurately under extreme stress, during night operations, behind enemy lines, 
or when maps were incomplete. They trained to combine the compass trick with natural indicators. For example, they knew that in the northern hemisphere the sun would rise roughly in the east and set in the west, while the moss on trees tended to grow on the cooler, shadier, north-facing sides. If clouds covered the sky, they could use the wristwatch method, aligning the hour hand with the sun, then bisecting the angle between the hour hand and twelve o'clock to find south. The hidden compass confirmed their readings when available. These overlapping techniques made them nearly impossible to disorient, even when stripped of gear. This mindset, to always have multiple ways to orient oneself, became a cornerstone of commando survival philosophy. It's the same principle that modern survivalists and bushcraft experts still use, redundancy. Never rely on one tool when knowledge can serve as backup. Even though we have GPS and digital maps today, technology can fail. Batteries die, signals drop, and weather can interfere. The commando compass trick remains one of the most practical survival skills anyone can learn. To try it yourself, all you need is a sewing needle, a piece of silk or wool, and a small container of water. Rub the needle in one direction along the silk several times to magnetize it. Then place the needle on a thin leaf or a sliver of cork so it can float freely in the water. After a few moments, it will align north-south. You can verify it with a real compass or even your phone's compass app. In survival training, this method is still taught as a backup for navigation when modern tools fail. It's quiet, lightweight, and easily repeatable with minimal materials. More importantly, practicing this skill connects you directly to the same fieldcraft, Bam. Hunt saying, so done, the D a man so heard you call fiam, the steep untan of fans and the The knowledge cannot last in knowledge. You can also incorporate the principle of disguise in your own gear. For instance, keeping a small magnetized pin sewn into your jacket lining or a tiny compass bead embedded in your bracelet offers you a discreet navigation aid that doesn't scream survival gear. It's the modern echo of the SOE's ingenuity hiding capability in plain sight. To the men and women of World War II secret units, the compass trick was more than a clever hack. It was a symbol of adaptability. Every escape and evasion kit, every hidden button and every magnetized needle told the same story. When stripped of everything, skill and knowledge are the only true survival tools. This lesson remains timeless. In a world that depends on technology, knowing how to navigate using natural cues or improvised tools is not just a novelty, it's empowerment. The hidden compass trick reminds us that survival favours the prepared mind, not just the prepared backpack. If you found this deep dive into the secret navigation techniques of World War II commandos fascinating, make sure to subscribe to In the Beginning for more untold stories of wartime ingenuity and forgotten fieldcraft. Share this video with fellow history buffs and survival enthusiasts who appreciate the skills that built the modern world. Knowledge like this isn't just history. It's a legacy worth keeping alive.